Back in Boulder, Colorado, what an opening night. Colorado in overtime survives a very good Montana State team. 94-90 with Fran Fracilla. I'm Drew Goodman. Late in the first half, it was a Raekwon battle three that gave Montana State a three-point lead going into the break. And then most of the second half, Coach, was owned by Montana yeah, State. Th that three put him up three. And they made big, big shots, got it to double figures. Bello was a force in the lane. And uh, man, they were rolling, there's no question. But then, momentum shifted. We thought it would. And this guy, Keyshawn Bartholomew and Parquet, the sophomore and the senior, really did a nice, nice job. Evan Batty, you knew he was gonna step up. Yeah, he was dealing with foul trouble the whole night. That was a terrific lay-in. I thought the, the the play he made late, knocking a, a ball free for uh, an offensive rebound and a stick back and then Bartholomew in transition. He ended up, you know, having a really nice ball game. Parquet tied it late with that three in regulation. Yeah, yeah. you know, Bartholomew kind of reminded me of a guy that used to play here in the backcourt. His name was McKinley Wright. Yeah, and, <laughs> and they won't soon forget McKinley Wright in Boulder. So uh, a summary of this one, it was back and forth. Montana State led by as many as 13, in fact, but up 11 with the less than nine to go. A, a great, gritty win for a very young Colorado team. Absolutely. Tad Boyle knew this was going to be exactly the game that he got. A veteran mid-major team with a lot of promise in the big sky against his young team and his young team scrapped and clawed came away with a buffs win. Colorado shot 51% five and double figures. Again, the final score from Boulder, Colorado over Montana State by four.